welcome back to my channel we are back with another video I'm so excited for you guys to see how I got this look I was super excited to see how I got this look because this was my first time ever trying so every time <laughs> y'all every video I'm trying something I've never done so that should tell y'all something about me that I'm really dedicated to stepping outside the box doing some things that I've never done before so yeah this was one of those times I was inspired by this look that I seen off of Instagram and I was like I have to try this because like oh my god I love it it's so pretty it's so edgy it's super fun oh yeah I'm a lad oh y'all would not believe it is like two in the morning right now and <laughs> I just did my makeup I wish that I could have worn this out but I took a few pictures so you guys will be able to see how it photographed so not too much talking today y'all I know y'all are excited it was a little bit challenging for me just because I don't really do too many like fine lines but I still love the outcome this look was a little bit outside of my comfort zone but I decided to try something different today. Try something new for you guys. Because I know y'all don't want to keep seeing the same old stuff. Like y'all want new, fresh makeup looks. So I just want to give that to you guys. And I think we did a great job today. So not too much talking. Let's get straight into the video. So you guys can see exactly how I got this beautiful eye look let's cut the chit chat and get straight into the video what's up besties it's your girl bianca and we are about to slay some makeup so let's get started first things first my brows are already filled in so now i just have to give them a little shaping so I'm going to take my Tarte Concealer and my Juvia's Place and I'm going to mix those two together to get my perfect shade. And then I'm going to start to outline my brow. You're going to place this concealer right underneath that bottom line that you created. And you're going to drag the product down. We want our ends to be really sharp. I'm not going to place concealer in the front of my brow. And I'm going to let you guys know why in just a second. But we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Outline that brow and bring the concealer down because we're not gonna be walking around with no crusty eyebrows. Like they're gonna be well shaved and they're gonna look super natural. So I'm just pulling this product down. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with my blending brush. It's a real technique brush, and we're gonna blend this down into the eyelid and you see i'm just dragging the product towards the front of my eye with my brush so i didn't need to actually like draw a line there so now i'm going to take my pencil that i'm going to use to draw my lines um i got this pencil from the beauty supply store y'all we don't always have to go out and buy the most expensive product we can just go right to our local beauty supply store and get the same exact product just but for cheaper and guess what like we're saving money we're keeping some of our coins in our purse where they need to be because who y'all know makeup is so expensive like oh it's so expensive every time i go it's just like wow 
I did not plan on spending this much. As you can see, I did have to adjust my lighting. At first, it was given like orange and now it's perfect. So we're back. Now it's time to start on these lines, y'all. So we're gonna take our time and really draw them out really nicely and try to get it as straight as possible. So with this pencil being like a rounded tip, to make the ends really sharp once you get towards the end where you want to stop your line just kind of loosen up your grip a little bit and lightly pull it into a point so i am looking at this look on my phone that's why you keep seeing me look up and down i'm trying to kind of like mimic the look but i did add in like my own little razzle dazzle you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of make it like, kind of like my own. This is not my own look. I did not come up with this, y'all. So, please keep that in mind. Don't be going around to nobody. I said I started this look. Um, but anyway, so I'm just drawing out these lines. And once I'm done, y'all. So, you see how the pink looks is not as really bright and not vibrant. So, I'm going to take some of this pink face paint. And I'm going to apply this on top of the lines that I just placed down. And you see how it's giving like neon pink. Yeah, that's what we wanted because now we're going to go on top of that with a pink eyeshadow to just make that color really pop and really stand out. Um, yeah it's giving now right it looks so good it's super it's like a dark pink it's giving like exactly what it needs to give and i'm loving it so yeah now we're gonna go in with our black liner and basically what we're doing is we're gonna trace the exact same design but we're, we're tracing it inside of the pink and I do feel like it would have been a little bit easier if I had a liner pen instead of using this like little bristle brush. Um, the pen gives you a better control. Now we're going to go in with this new like white eyeshadow. And then on top of that, we're going to add some of this glitter that I got from MAC. Y'all, this glitter is so pretty. It's giving like Ice Princess or Magical like wonderland it's just so beautiful um i do wish that, that i would have covered my eyelash extensions though because i got glitter literally everywhere all in my lashes so that's that <laughs> now we're gonna add some rhinestones i'm gonna add a smaller rhinestone in the front and then i'm going to make sure i press them into my skin to make sure that they are secure now we're going to start on the face of course we have to prime i did already moisturize my face guys so don't be trying to come for me in the comments like oh she need put no moisturizer on i did <laughs> but um i love this product it reminds me of the milk primer it's just more affordable so if you want to save your coins go and get this one it's only about eight dollars so now I'm applying my foundation and I'm going to add my contour. I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm going to blend this out really well. Then I'm going to take my dome brush to blend out my foundation. You want to make sure your base is really even so that everything else that goes on top will also be like really seamless. You want to press the product into your skin and also bring that foundation down onto your neck you do not want to be looking like two different people one person at the top another at the bottom so blend your neck now i am outlining the top of my brow a lot of people use concealer to do this still but i'm using my foundation because i don't like my brows to to look highlighted i want them to still look natural now I'm going back in to make sure I don't have any fine lines and to make sure my foundation is increasing. So yeah, make sure everything is blended out, y'all. Blending is key. Make sure you get in those little small areas that you might have missed. Get that blended, okay? 
once everything is blended out i'm going to add more of my contour back into my face and i'm going to blend that out this color is just so perfect for my skin complexion i love it so much y'all these are black opal sticks and they have a wide variety of colors so if you're looking for a contour stick try those out now i'm just going back in and i'm blending out where my foundation and contour meet and just making sure that you don't see like um, an indication of where it starts and begin, start and end. So now one of my favorite parts is adding concealer. I love concealer. Um, we're gonna place this on the inner corner of our eye and on the outer corner. The outer corner is gonna help us get that line really crisp. And it also adds like a lift to the face so your face won't appear to be drooping down. Now we're doing the same exact thing on the other side. And watch this y'all, watch this, watch this, look, 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 look. <laughs> How did I completely cover the pink line? Oh my God, I was moving way too fast because I literally just covered up that whole line. But it's okay. We're going to move on and we're going to put some concealer on our forehead, a little bit on our cupid's bow and on our chin. I don't normally like to highlight my chin, but for this look, why not? And then I'm going to put a little dot on my nose. How cute. Now we're going to take our beauty blender. My beauty blender is damp. It's not wet. Make sure you squeeze all of the water out before you use it. And also make sure you let your concealer dry down. I let my concealer dry for about two minutes before I start to blend it out. This is going to help that concealer blend really smooth. And that's what we're giving today. We're giving a really smooth, pretty, soft, velvety type skin. And you see, the beauty blender is kind of thick, y'all. So trying to get it underneath my lashes was just not working. So I had to go in with my Real Techniques brush, which is a really small brush that can fit in really small or tight places, which is right underneath my eyelash extensions and right, you know, if you need to go up some a little bit, like by your liner, but you don't want to accidentally cover it up like i did you know use this small brush to really get in those areas i promise you will love this brush now i'm just going back in to blend out the edges where my concealer and my contour meet and then i'm going to take my concealer to really define and sharpen my liner in the front of my eye yeah okay y'all see it y'all see what that look what the eyeliner look is giving now i'm gonna blend out the concealer on my forehead i always tend to blend this really high making my forehead look really big so i'm gonna take my contour brush <clears throat> and i'm just gonna blend my contour down some and look at that no line seamless you can't even see where my concealer stops like that's what we're trying to give y'all blush time blush time i love blush i did not used to be a blush girl but just look at this blush look at the color look how pretty the pink is it matched my top like it's just oh my god it's just like the perfect pink this blush is from rare beauty in the shade happy i use a brush and my beauty blender to blend this out my beauty blender really helps it really seep into my skin like just making it look so flawless so i love that and i always use my brush to blend out those fine lines look at that blush y'all if y'all don't got that blush go get it right now and add it to your kit i promise you will not be disappointed now i'm just going back in to make sure that everything is blended out before i go and set 
make sure you don't have any fine lines or any creasing before you add your powder it is so important because if you set it while it's creased it's going to set that way now we're going to take this beauty puff and we're going to use this to apply our translucent setting powder i have not went back to using my beauty blender ever since i started to use this puff oh my god when i tell y'all it is a must have you have to go and get this and put it in your kit it is in my amazon storefront for about two to three dollars like come on now you cannot beat that go and get it you see how it's soaking up all that shininess you need this asap i do leave a little bit of my powder underneath my eyes because i crease really bad and when I'm applying this powder, I like to just press it right into my skin. We just want to get it all in there and just let it do its job. Now I'm adding some contour powder on my face, basically to set the cream contour that I applied. And this is bringing some extra color back into the face because right now we're giving ghosts. I know it's winning time, but that's not what we're going for. Now I'm going to set my blush with my powders. And y'all, I literally use about two to three blush powders just to get the perfect pink. But it's going to be in my description box so you'll know exactly what I used. Now I'm going to go in and add a pop of color underneath my eyes. I'm using the pencil that I use to draw out the lines on my eyes. And I'm going to a place this, a place. <laughs> I'm going to apply this from one corner to the next. And then to set this eyeliner, I'm going to add that pink eyeshadow right on top of it and just look oh my god so pretty now we're going to add some eyeliner on our lash line and then we're going to contour our nose make sure you bring that contour up into your brow so that it flows naturally because we want this nose to be snatched and this is what the look is giving oh my god so pretty now we have to top it off with some setting spray from morphe it literally smells amazing and then we're going to go in with some gloss on the lips i've already lined my lips with my favorite liner and yeah who doesn't love a glossy lip like yeah y'all see it I added a pink lipstick underneath my gloss just to tie the whole look together. And this is what it's giving. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love y'all. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that bell in the top corner so that you guys can be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to my video today. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. If you have any feedback for me, don't forget to leave me a comment in my comment section. If you guys have any thoughts or recommendations or if you decided to try this look y'all please let me know in the comment section let me know how it went but i'm gonna miss you guys i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in i hope to see you again in my next video bye